not bleeding yet. And he dropped a whole pile of anchor stitches in it to reinforce the skin so that I can get it back out there and get racing again. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This ain't over. Got that dialed, that's all good. The sand part of it, there's like this huge sand part and some parts of sand is really, really deep and I'm not used to riding that at all. I don't know if I've ever ridden sand that deep so it's taken a little getting used to weaving in and out of that. Hey Ty, what did we find that you're so fired up about? I get to ride <laughs> on logs. <laughs> <laughs> So it's race morning and we were just talking about strategy about this thing. So we're entering as a two man in there so that you can do an Iron Man, two man, three man or four man team. And each team only gets one transponder. So one guy can from each team can only be on the track at any one time. So we're talking strategy about this. We think we can get roughly three laps or so. I think I can get roughly three laps or so out of a, a tank of gas, uh, depending on, on how the laps go. So. We're gonna try and push for like a three lap, a three lap go per guy, and then come off, swap the transponder, and and away we go. So um, we're gonna see how this goes. Ty, what are your thoughts? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, uh, three laps is about or each lap is. Oh, look at the start. Oh, look at that. Look at the start. That's Tyler's. That's yeah. Tyler's gig. That's there. gonna be one start right there. <laughs> Me. I should have had more cinnamon buns, dude. <laughs> should have packed them. Look at how many people, though. Busy. Got on tap. Hydro fuel. PCAs, electrolytes. Woo! <laughs> so uh, we're getting underway here. Ty is. Ty's walking to do some talking. But we're gonna get underway here. So here's our strategy. The race starts, they're doing like a staggered moto start. So the plan is that Ty's gonna go first because the track might be a little sloppier. So he's gonna go first because he's better in the kind of sloppy conditions. We'll do a couple laps each. We're hoping for three laps per. Come in, we'll swap, swap the transponder, go back out. You're gonna do your three laps and then come back in back and forth for the next almost nine hours. That's the plan, man. So he's gonna go out, deal with some sloppy stuff. He's gonna, he, like I said, he's better in that. So he'll be able to get some pace going. Uh, within an hour when I go out, it'll be cleaned up a little bit and I'll be able to go out uh, just like I pulled off from practice yesterday, basically just go out and get after it immediately. That's kind of the plan. Only one transponder per team, so I think that strategy might play out. Stay tuned, we're gonna find out if this is gonna work or not.
So by this point, I was actually bleeding rather bad. You just, I just didn't know it yet. I was checking some spots and I just wasn't quite hitting the right spot yet. My bike was all twisted up. The rad was bent. My shroud was like sticking way out and it kept catching my boots. But I didn't know at that time just how much I had been bleeding. So I decided to keep going. change of plans I got cleaned out hard and uh, 
there's a big hole in the side of my chest. So underneath that gauze, you can see in behind the muscle and everything. So I'm on my way to the hospital now and I just got thinking when I lifted my arm for the paramedic, he gave me this like disgusted face. He's like, thought to myself, that can't be good. Um, I really hope I'm not at the hospital long. The plan is I can, I can get this stitched up and get back out there. I want to do some more laps. I mean, I'm in it. I'm in it, dude. Let's go. Let's get this stitched up and let's get out of here. I got some, uh, I got some racing to do still. We're doing this thing. He dropped a whole pile of anchor stitches in it to reinforce the skin so that I can get it back out there and get racing again. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This ain't over. Just got back, 24 stitches. He's heading back out, carry the team. Yeah. <clears throat> so I finally got some uh, banana in me and uh, some more uh, hydro fuel and a little bit of rock fuel, some booster. We're gonna try to get this video <clears throat> nailed for you without stopping too much. Anyways, uh, race recap, we've got about two and a half hours left of the race. Uh, rough to start, the, or when Mitch went out, he pretty much got taken out by another rider right away. Uh, like an absolute savage he is, he kept pounding in three more laps after that comes in um jersey rip blood you can see some skin hanging too um i was super proud of the guy for just like pushing through it anyways he comes in we switch he i know he goes to the emts i keep pounding into some last i come back should have came back a little sooner find out he needs to go to the hospital yeah which is stitches so he goes get stitches i hold down the fort um and like an absolute legend uh, when I come back to fill up and get some more fuel and water and stuff like that, check the bike, I see the van there and literally the, the door just opens and he walks out. <laughs> literally, it was perfect timing. He's like, <clears throat> anyways, uh, as you can see, like Jesus Christ just walking out like, oh. <clears throat> so, uh, fill up his bike and like a savage he is, he goes out, he's ripping, so. Uh, right now, <clears throat> my bike's back together, working pretty good. Had a couple little tips, nothing crazy so far. Hopefully, we can keep it that way. And uh, just waiting for Mitch to come back so we can swap out and keep uh, keep crushing this race. And um, track conditions really hard packed in the water, so it's super icy. Good thing we're Canadians, we're really good. Ryan, pretty much now having control of the bike. Um, Super whooped out in the sand section, super deep. Like you need a sand tire to really kind of even keep up and keep that front end up. Uh, so right now I'm just hammering through it. So kudos to my suspension in at Rider's Edge for having dialed stuff to keep me going. Now, I'm pretty sure Mitch is gonna rip some stitches out. Guaranteed, because I know how fatiguing that is. And if he doesn't, I'd be absolutely impressed. Um, besides that, they had like a water main break, so the one part of the track is literally a giant puddle now. Um, but besides that, it's pretty good. It's uh, The cool thing about this so far is um, where it gets really rough and like the, like the moto guys are really able to excel. Uh, there's a lot of spots where the enduro guys can still make up a lot of time on like the, the downhills. They're, they're super bumpy and we're kind of used to that stuff. The enduro cross track, a lot of guys are getting hung up on the, the tires or they take the easy way around, which caught, is like an extra like, 90 seconds so uh race is going pretty good so far we'll give you an update afterwards so a little update <clears throat> it's not bleeding yet so that's good did another three laps just uh tagged and tie we're getting down to the nitty gritty he's gonna go for two and if there's some time left i'm gonna finish off try and squeeze in one more Definitely not as fast as I'd like to be going, but uh, honestly, if I hit this side again, 
that's really bad news really really bad news not just tearing the stitches out and everything but because the hole was so deep that's scary that's scary shit so um sorry i got a lot of dust in my face so i'm just not willing to take that risk but um hey i came here to do something and i'm gonna do it even if that means it going half the half the pace i was going before it is what it is still here we're still doing it still super fun but um that's an update for you stay tuned while we wrap this bitch up there's one other thing i wanted to add um <clears throat> it's about ty so the whole time he swapped me out tagged me out i go out i go to the ambulance they're like yeah you got a hole like you gotta go to the hospital i go to the hospital i get cleaned up stitched up blah 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 i go get a prescription for the antibiotics and when i come back ty was still ripping laps that savage was holding down the fort for the team the whole time I'm gone. And that might not sound like a lot, but believe me, that's a that's a tiring track. And um, he's straight savage, dude, for going that for going that long. What a savage. Hats off. This here is what we call a fucking Iron Man. <laughs> this guy did at least twice to three times the laps that I did. At least. But you're the legend. You're the one that's riding with a puncture and <laughs> stitches. <laughs> that's crazy. Let's go, boy. Woo! Yeah, get some. Ah. Uh, okay, give me your bike. I'm going to help you. Power my ass. Only 40 minutes. I was like pacing myself. I'm like, hey, I got another lot to do. And then I see the checkered flag. I'm like, shit, <laughs> should push a little bit more. Yeah, boy. Woo. I'm proud of you, buddy. You pushed to the end hard. Oh. Hard. My uh, my shit opened up again. I was gonna say we're going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I yeah, think it let, stopped bleeding, but we're good. We should, do you want me to sew it back together? I'm no. pretty good. No. No. These fingers? No. chatting um, since we banked everything up at the track we haven't really done a, a wrap up to this whole thing uh, so we're currently in hour 15 of the drive home we've got a couple hours left but we were able to look up the results of how we did and it looks like we got they got us listed in seventh that being said uh, I will say there's a caveat to that so it looks like a couple of our lap times were miscounted it looks like they were kind of doubled up so we might have been shorted two laps from what from what the lap times look like uh, but we also think that might be our fault for going too fast past the transponder thing because there's definitely one time where I was cooking through there and um, so I think that was probably one of the ones where it, it, it kind of doubled the lap and said one lap was what would have taken two laps but uh, so we know that for next year because I think we plan on going back next oh, year yeah. and, and doing this thing again. And even all that, all things considered, honestly, with uh, having to get the stitches and all that stuff, I still think it went pretty well, honestly. Just looking at the lap times, we've definitely got the speed to go back and win that thing next year. Just got to make a clean run of it and um, make a few changes to the bike for the sand whoops towards the end of the race. The sand whoops were absolutely next level uh, rough and deep, and so I think um, I think making some making some changes will help help clean that up a little bit. Got anything to add, Ty? Before we shut this baby down. 2025, here we go. 2025, we are coming back. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.